All right, so we're back out here to test out these uh, GSL suppressors. The last time I did this, I caught some flack because there was still some sound. Well, the reason for that sound is I was using supersonic ammo because I didn't have any subsonic ammo at the time. So that sharp crack that you heard coming out of these that were suppressed, those were actually because these, the um, rounds were still breaking the sound barrier. These ones should not. So we're gonna go ahead and go back through the suppressors with subsonic ammo. Um, the other thing that was working against me for these videos is if you notice when I first shot the uh, gun unsuppressed, the, um, the, the, the phone automatically muffled it. But when I shot them suppressed, it didn't muffle it. So they kind of almost sounded similar. Um, unfortunately, we're working with what we can on the video, so we ain't got no, you know, multi-thousand dollar setup. We got two people and an iPhone. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take about five rounds through it with one suppressor, five rounds through it with the other suppressor, and I will not shoot it unsuppressed because, well, if you want to hear that one, just go back to my other video and you'll hear that one. Um, so we're going to see how this works together because this is the first time I've shot unsuppressed 9mm ammo out of this gun with these suppressors. Alright. That is actually a little quieter than a 22. Um, yeah, I'm actually kind of, I'm impressed. It, it has a sharp crack to it, but it's, it's not that much. You make more noise hammering in a nail with a nail gun than that. Um, that's almost like a, um, like an air rifle sound. So that's awesome. That's even better. Um, that was the uh, GSL Stealth Suppressor. This long one here. This is their stealth model. I got this in 9mm. Once again, you can get a direct thread or this piston piece right here that works with pistols. So that was their stealth model. This is their Trinity model. This is the one that they claim is great for... Um, it, it's a shorter one, so it's great for like your bedside, your table side, um, stuff like that. It, it's easier to conceal if you wanted to do it that way. Um, but let's see, let's see how this one does with the uh, subsonic ammo. Okay, just a little sharper crack than the other one, but still, you're talking about 22 level sound now. Um, it's just a little bit louder than the other one, obviously, and there's not as much here for the gas to dissipate. But still, you're talking, you're talking a sound equivalent to a 22 coming out of a 9mm. So, and these are subsonic rounds. I believe these are only 990 feet per second. So, that's about as subsonic as you get with a, uh, with a 9mm. And it did take some of that sharp crack out. Like I said, the stealth model made it sound almost like an air rifle. The Trinity model, you're talking like, like a 22. And, and even that's probably a low velocity round, like an 11 or 1,000 foot per second 22 round, not your 1,400 foot per second. So, I mean, these things work great. Um, so once again, if you just want to come by and try some suppressors out, come by and see me. These are demo models. We can put them on a, we can put them on a gun, and we can get you uh, to put some rounds down range. You can try them out before you buy them. Um, this is your one-stop shop for your suppressor sales. I can do fingerprinting. I can do passport photos. I've got a Form 4 generator. We can do the the whole nine. All right. So with that, I'm going to conclude this suppressor video. Call it part two. And uh, come on out and see us sometime and uh, take home a new suppressor if the ATF will allow you.